the week started off with workshops and uh, poster campaigns, um, newsletters. The youngsters were given the opportunity to facilitate and participate in workshops, so they actually took the lead, so we empowered them. So that was quite interesting. We had Abbas Farad, the Nike World Champion, who turned up and done a freestyle workshop, so that was fantastic. Inspired the youngsters, and um, that was really rewarding also for coaches as well, young futsal coaches. They got a lot of um, value from Abbas's workshops as well. And again, more importantly, Abbas's presence just brought the whole community together, and that was a powerful thing. I, I still experience racism, um, and and the, the 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 thing is is that what can be done? That's the real thing. What? How can that be tackled? Because it still exists. It's the year twenty sixteen and it shouldn't exist. There are a lot of kids that grow up in uh, multicultural schools. Why is this still existing? Why is this idea and mentality still about? Because it's being inflicted from parents and from the media. Ourselves, Calcio Football Academy, we participated in a futsal league. We experienced racism. It's 2016 and we are still experiencing racism. Started back in 88. Not a lot's really changed. There's always been racism, and if I'm honest with you, I don't think it'll ever go away. Where we gotta kind of work as a unified approach with this organisation, Fair Football Against Racism in Europe, is that unified approach we can actually stop racism. No, no racism. racism. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I've got Jishan here with me. He's um, uh, a player uh, from Asian heritage, and he was playing. Uh, the academy at Andelec. So Jason, tell me your experience at Andelec. Well, uh, when I was young, I played football because football was my, uh, my, like my second life. I love football. So I played there like two years and uh, I got a little injury, so I couldn't play. But the set, second thing in, in Belgium is you get, you get uh, your chance because uh, like racism. So I think we all deserve a second chance to be safe. That's it, and it's a positive mindset, and that's the whole purpose of uh, the Carter Football Academy as well, is providing that platform for talented players like Jushin, and with the FAIR campaign, again, using that mechanism of engagement, that unified approach to tackle racism, and hopefully uh, we can sustain this project again with elite players as well, not only community players, we've got elite players on our doorstep waiting for that pathway and hopefully events and initiatives like this can actually you know take that forward from the futsal from the football from the jogger from the panna knockout event and having abba's world freestyle champion here it's been an absolutely awesome week and obviously the most important thing is the youngsters and the wider community it's shown how a powerful organization like fair, fair and ourselves have worked together to highlight the issue and hopefully we can continue and sustain this project in the future.